She's got a hitter's count here at 2-0. and Driven to left center, and over to make the play is the center fielder Warnock. Runner tags and scores, and the Cyclones lead at 1-0. Kathleen Bingham reaches home. Very nice job there. Driven to left and deep, and over the head of the left fielder, around second is Cappert. She'll go to third, and in at second with a double is Nicole Antion. Two and two delivery. Right up the middle, a base hit for Shefford. So it's first and second for Iowa State. First hit for Hope Shefford. And Cottle hits this one right into the gap. The diving effort, not enough, and they're going to send the runner home here. McFarland's going to be safe. So Cyclones score another one. They cut into that lead, 5-3. to three. Now the score. Let's see what happens here. Frame delivers, and Shefford hits one right up the middle, and it's going to go off of the second base. And a safe close place, yeah. So safe all around. Bases remain loaded, and Antion scores. So, But Goma is a great hitter, close to 400 on the average for the season. And Gomez delivers that one, just a blooper into right, and that will bring, looks like two runners home, and Gomez gets herself a double, and the Cyclones regain the lead. That would be great in her mind. And Capert swings, and as you were just saying, right up the middle, and Gomez scores. So tally up another run there. So Sixth. Caudill, back up the middle, backhand effort, but nothing doing. It's another base hit for Caudill. That is the. Again goes after the first pitch, left field and deep, and all the way to the fence it goes. Two runs, I think, will score as here comes Wolpert. Look at Gomez go around third. She'll hold up with a triple, a two-run triple for Brittany Gomez, and two big insurance runs for Iowa State. Some pires, here's the pitch. Right field, and a good play out there for the out. Now the runner tagging, trying to go to third, and will do so, but a nice play in right field for Iowa State by Kirsten Cottle to make that catch. Runner advances to third. Yeah, Cottle. The one-two delivery from Highland is in there for strike three call. McFarland Ooh. drives it to deep right field, and it is gone, a three-run homer for Kelsey McFarland. That one was a no-doubter off the bat. Perfect cut by McFarland. So three runs, three-nothing Iowa State. What a hit by McFarland right there. Wilbert with a base hit down the line, into the corner. Shefford got a slow start off first, but she'll get into third here. And Wolpert into second with a double. Cyclone second and third with one away here in the second. Great shot there by Wolpert. Just one and one is the count. And Gomez fights it into shallow left field. It'll drop again. There it is, oh. the fifth RBI of the day for Brittany. Another runner trying to score is Wolpert. The throw home is late. Two runs in, and the Cyclones lead at 5 nothing. Brittany Gomez having a day. One and two the count, McFarland to the left side, and that will sneak its way to all the way to the hole and be a RBI single for Kelsey McFarland. Four RBIs here in the doubleheader, four RBIs in game two here. And Highland, the payoff pitch, full count, and she gets a piece of this one, bouncer to Antion. Big wow. throw, great throw there. <laughs> what a play. What a play by Nicole Antion because... Here comes the 2-1, and Gomez hits it right to that gap. And Look at her run. Yep, there she goes, and potentially it looks like she's going to go for three here as the ball comes in from center, and they cut it off. So a, the second triple for the day for Brittany Gomez. What a hit there. Another full count pitch, and Capper, as you were saying, gets a piece of this one, and it's over the head at the warning track. That's going to score Gomez easily as Capper gets herself a single and the lead pitching. And the one-two, and that one a great pitch there. The fourth strikeout on the day gets Kyle watching and strikes her out for the second time today. McFarland drives one deep left center. And out of here, another home run for Kelsey McFarland. Her second of the day. You can just tell by the sound of that one when it came off the bat. That it was going to be deep, and McFarland with a multi-home run day. Makes it an 8-2 to lead for the...